Today guys, again filming with the iPhone because it's very windy and the DJI Osmo Pocket, I don't have any dead cat to put on it so the wind is bad, but I increased the frames per second on the iPhone to 60. Let's see if the, the screen is better now. And of course today I have a surprise for you guys because who is joining me? Pam, Jolie is joining me today. Let's walk to the beach. Bon dia, my name is Didi, her name is and we are part of the Bitcoin family, the same family you are becoming part of because you're watching this YouTube channel. Uh, which way do you want to walk on the beach? Left or there? No, that way. And then the wind is like this. Oh, <laughs> so your, like hair, your hair is so beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this video is going to be created very beautifully walking to the right side on the beach because else her hair will be a mess. Yeah. That's why I use a cap. In today's video guys, we are going to bomb you with some really cool Bitcoin charts. It's going to be a short video because I have a shitload of work. Of course, also taking a look at the DD Bam Bam indicator chart to see how many profit we made yesterday. And then the blockchain slash news part talking about micro strategy because they want to buy a shitload of Bitcoins and talking about Facebook because they have a new plan and I don't think it's the best plan. Maybe she has an opinion about that as well. And yes, also talking about family. But let's quickly start guys because else I'm talking too much again and the video will become way longer than I was intended to make this video. Let's go. Bam! Beautiful with the wind. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh my god, she's becoming arrogant now. <laughs> Let's jump into the Bitcoin TA part, guys. The part where I bomb you with charts. This part. Bam! In this part, we are going to take a look, a look at the short term. The short term, you want to know are we going to go up or are we going to down? We are now in this pennant. You can see that we are nearing the end of the pennant. At the end of a pennant, we always break out. We can break out to the upside, we can break out to the downside. No one knows, but there is a lot of bullish news. So I prefer to think that we go to the upside. If we break out to the upside, it will be a breakout of a 2K candle because the width of the start of the pennant is 2K. So that would bring us from 19K to 21K. If we break down to the downside, it will break us from 19K to 17k one of these options in the short term is going to happen but what do you think is bitcoin going to go up the or down well in the long term it's going up of course but, yes i believe this as well yeah so long term like in a year or two years yeah do you think one hundred thousand or one million i hope one million <laughs> you hope one million Okay, why do you think that Bitcoin is going to go up in the long term? Well, there are like 21 million Bitcoins. Yeah. And everyone wants that. So, <laughs> that is going up in the long term. Yeah, that's a very simple but very effective uh, explanation. Indeed, everybody wants them. We only have 21 million. So, the more people that want them, the higher the price needs to be. Yeah. Because everybody wants to use them. All your friends want Bitcoins. Are they already asking you, uh, Julie, send me some Bitcoins? in like snapchat or how is it all called? some of them some of them yeah they ask me every day a lot of poor people or a lot of people that lost people or people that use any kind of strange story to ask me for a random bitcoin 
Right? We are not that rich that we can give away Bitcoins. And indeed, guys, everybody wants Bitcoin because today MicroStrategy announced that they are going to buy another 400 million worth of Bitcoin. They are going to buy 400 million dollar worth of Bitcoin. MicroStrategy, it's a huge company. They've been buying Bitcoins like the last couple of months, but like massively. And they already own like around 40,000 Bitcoins. And they just announced that they are going to buy another 400 million dollar worth of Bitcoins. That's around like 20,800 Bitcoins. They are going to buy 20,800 Bitcoins. That's like huge, isn't it? Yeah, but what are they going to do with it? They are going to hold it because they believe what you believe. They think that Bitcoin is the new gold and that Bitcoin is going up in the next couple of years and they will be making profit with their company. They already made a lot of profit because they bought already 40,000 Bitcoins. In total, they paid for those Bitcoins around 465 million US dollars. The value of those Bitcoins at the moment already is about 780 million US dollars. So they already had profit of like 300 million US dollars just by buying Bitcoin and hodling it. That's why we hodl Bitcoin as well. And that is guys why Bitcoin will increase in price. So Julie is right. More and more people want to have Bitcoin, but we only have 21 million Bitcoins. And these huge companies that are now buying Bitcoin, they are going to sit on the Bitcoins as long as they can before they will exchange very slowly Bitcoin by Bitcoin and, and against huge prices, maybe 100k Bitcoin prices to cash out the investment they made this year, 2020. But let's take a look at the BAM BAM indicator, how that one performed yesterday on this chart. BAM! You can see that we did a lot of trades yesterday. It's a 15 minute chart, every candle is 15 minutes. And I think we did five trades or something. We started with $250. We ended up with 390 US dollar, so that's a $140 profit. Yesterday, there were some longs and there were some shorts. I'm not going to talk about all of them. Just pause the video and look at the chart to see how we traded and which trade we did. There is only one trade I want to talk about is as a fifth trade. The fifth one was a short around 10%. We were stopped out over there because we did a short and then there was a wick very low. 18,940 and that is where we got stopped out so the profit was only 10 percent it could have been way more of course but we were kicked out by the trailing stop loss that i had set at like a 65 us dollar at that moment so that is the bam bam chart that is how we performed yesterday 140 dollar gains in a day of trading bam then there is one more news guys it's about facebook you know facebook you know yeah. who owns Facebook? Uh, yeah. Mark, Mark Zuckerberg? Something, Something like that. Like that huh? He wants to create an own currency. And this currency is called Libra. But then the US government said, ah, ah, Mark, you're not allowed to create this currency because that is against the law. You cannot create money. And especially because you are a huge social media platform with a lot of followers, you cannot be competition of the bank and all that stuff. So Mark thought he was smart and he said, okay, I'm not going to um, start Libra, but I will start DM, D-I-E-M, Carpe Diem, live life to the fullest every day. Pluck the day, seize the day, I think it's called. Pluck, pluck the dark in the Netherlands, seize the day in English, Carpe Diem in French or Latin. Yes, he wanted to create a currency called DM. Facebook has all the data of everybody all over the world. They know everything. Yeah. They know that you eat McDonald's, they know that you go to pizza, they know that we are walking on the beach. They know completely everything. And this company wants to start a new currency called Yam, and they didn't Google if there was already a company using this name. And now they found out that there is a company in London, I think it was a fintech company in London, that is already using the name DM for their products. So they are now starting again a court case against Facebook. How can a company as big as Facebook that knows everything about everybody in the world not first search if there is not a company using it? That's like really stupid. And the name Libra is also used for something. For what? Which one? I don't know, yeah, company called like, or something that's Libra. Libra. I don't know for sure, but that's possible. So even my daughter would have Googled if there is a company using the name DM. 
Mark, maybe you should hire her as your marketing manager instead of all those people that they didn't understand. There was already a London-based company using the name DM. But that was the Facebook news, guys. Let's now jump into the last part of the video because we need to make a short one. This part is called the family part. Let's jump there. Bam! Yeah, we walk back because I want to see your hair from the other side. I'm going to walk on this side now because my arm is getting good. I'm very much looking forward to the quality because you say you film on 4K. Yeah, I film on 4K. And this now is HD with 60 frames. And normally I film on HD with 30 frames. And I think the Osmo, that one is filming um, 4K, with, 4K with 60 frames. Maybe we can do a small thing now together. No, this is not being sponsored by Osmo. I am not sponsored at all by Osmo, but it is just, I like to play around with that stuff. I'm a guy. And now I'm going to test with my daughter together, which screen is better. If you press that one, it starts to record. And which one the sound is better. Okay, so we are going to film with two cameras now. Let's see which one uh, sound has been, which sound is better. Um, I was talking about the family part. <laughs> <laughs> My arm already hurts. Yeah, come on, just just one or two minutes. He doesn't want to film me. He only wants to film me. I can understand why he only wants to film you. Of course, he only wants to film beautiful people. DJI, there's discrimination. <laughs> that thing is not filming. Oh wait, maybe we do like this. Let's talk about the family. Julie, are you enjoying your time in Portugal? Is there something you miss in Portugal? Uh, do I miss something? Um. It's a little bit too cold now. I miss. Yeah. The, like I don't know. It's a little bit more sun. Yeah, it's getting a little bit fresh. Yeah. Um, yeah, I agree. You don't you don't like walking with that thing, is it? You don't like walking with that thing, is it? I'm going to test it like this now. So we are going to film with two cameras to just show you the difference in image and the difference in sound. 60 frames per second on the left side and the other side. Is it? We are not even a DJ or a technical channel. Why am I talking about this? We're talking about bit time blocks in their life. Stop this crazy shit. But now we tested it and we're going to get rid of this. Man. So I've heard from Santa Claus I'm getting a dog for Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. She's ruining the whole video with a dog again. I know all the comments are going to say now, ah, oh, buy that girl a dog. They want a dog. Do you want to talk about something else? Did I forget something? No. Do we still have a TikTok channel? No. Should we post more? Or is TikTok like, no. Nah. Guys, I want to thank you for watching. If you really like the video, or also if you a little bit like the video, give the video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, please leave a comment as Julie loves to respond to your comments as well. Wish you an amazing day. Always remember to enjoy Bitcoin and in and life. Try to enjoy every single minute of the day, and that is exactly what life is about life should be about. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye!